Rev up your engines! Today I'm going to talk about light. You need light to see when you're working on cars. There's no arguing that. Now over the years I've either bought scores of different types of lights or companies would send them to me and hope that I'd use them in my videos. And I have scores of different devices that make lights and today I'm going to show you some good ones and some bad ones. Now when I started out as a mechanic we had these drop lights. They plug into 120 volts of electricity and of course they work fine but they have drawbacks. One you got to be near 120 volt supply of electricity if it's raining or wet and damp and they're old you can get quite a shock if they short out. One of these old fashioned drop lights on top of it's big and it doesn't fit in the small spaces. A lot of guys aren't going to use one of those. People like going portable like this mechanic light. Comes with this thing that looks like a hockey puck but it's got a concave piece in it so you can put the light anywhere and since it's magnetic hey you can stick it up here and you can turn it to wherever you want to see. So not a bad idea though it's relatively expensive for the amount of light that it gives out. It's kind of a custom thing. Now over the years I've had zillions of different flashlights. This is an energizer and I used them for years. They're pretty good flashlights but you got to put in the AA batteries all the time and over time my experience with these things are the switch assemblies break down then you can buy another flashlight and they're not super cheap because they're made out of metal they're not that cheap plastic crap but the one I use all the time now is called so firm it's got the LEDs which don't burn out but it's got a really big advantage check out the inside we unscrew it huge battery and it's a rechargeable battery. I've had this one for years. It still works fine. This is a 2800 milliamp battery. It's a pretty strong battery. Guys using some of those vapes that put out a lot of heat for vaping <laughs> and they use the same type of battery. So this thing can last a really long time and it's super bright. Plus it's made out of metal and has these little o-rings so it's relatively waterproof. I've run over this thing with cars and didn't do any damage at all and it's still working really strong. Now here's a bigger version of one of these but I don't like this one at all and I'll tell you why. It has all these different buttons on it and they all serve different purposes but it's hard as heck to figure out which one you have to push to turn the side on or the front on. See it's very confusing. Hey I want a light. I want something that I push a button that goes on not having to figure out oh gee which button does what. You know save the complexity for people who want to drive around in Mercedes Benzes. Now of course flashlights do have a disadvantage. You have to hold them in a position or put them on something they're going to roll off. So I'll tell you one of my all time favorite work lights it's not even a work light at all. It's this thing. One of my lights for filming the camera tripod. These things are dirt cheap. Just get a plastic one. These are made in China and the advantage is if you need a little light you can have a little light. If you need more light you get more light. You just turn it on wherever you want it. Totally adjustable. It does have a rechargeable battery pack and the cool thing is they got a monitor here. I just charge this so it shows all charged so when it gets lower you know it's time to put another battery in or recharge yours. I have a spare battery pack so one's always charged and hey sometimes this thing will last a good eight hours. <laughs> you don't have to worry about running out in the middle of a job. Then the best thing is oh geez this thing was like twenty dollars and this cheap old tripod was like nine ninety five and you can point it wherever you want. They're totally adjustable. You can twirl them around. They're quite handy. I, I use this all the time when I'm working on cars. But they're not as indestructible as the flashlights made out of metal. It's all plastic. You can see here there's polyurethane sealer. I, I glued it back on because I broke the mounting part but hey what the heck it still works fine and polyurethane sealer is pretty strong. If it breaks again I'll just seal it back on. They're great for filming YouTube videos too if you want to give yourself a hand at that. Maybe you get lucky like me when I'm working on my old house and dark things I just set it up and stick it in there. Hey uh, these are really handy little lights for the peanut amount of money that they cost. Now the next light I'm talking about is a tiny light. It's a borescope light because it doesn't matter how bright your light is. If it's in a tiny spot that you can't get into to see the borescope you can stick it down in there. This is a test long borescope and I've used it for years it's fantastic. You can even check for cavities if you want. But they're very handy for looking in nooks and crannies for oil leaks, coolant leaks, problems that your car has 
wiring that has chafed off and the bare metals touching these little bore scopes are really handy and they've really come down in price lately when i was a younger mechanic they had bore scopes that they used on airplanes and stuff man those things are like five six seven thousand dollars these things hey you can easily get really good ones for less than a hundred and you can actually get super cheap ones for like thirteen dollars that you can actually hook up to your cell phone that work okay now the last light that I'm going to talk about is this Luxon it's a safety device that you know you can smash your window with cut seat belts but it's got a cool light in it now the light in here is for people who forget to keep things charged there is a battery inside and when I got it I tried it out and when I turned the light on it ran for about 29 hours with the light on full blast and I didn't turn it off kept checking it took about 29 hours for it to go to zero but it's got this cool hand crank on it and that charges up the light but it's not like those old cranks these are LEDs LEDs don't use the kind of power that the old incandescent bulbs did you know the old ones would be warm you put your hand on this it's not warm it's an LED so yes if you were a bad boy or girl and you let the battery go dead or used it for 20 something hours and it finally went dead if you crank this thing for one minute it's not that hard to crank it will give you light for 120 minutes so that's not bad you sit there for a minute cranking it and you got 120 minutes of light and you could go on forever with that oh if i was shipwrecked on an abandoned island hey this would be the light i'd want you crank it for one minute you get 120 minutes of light you can't argue that and i guess you could use the window cracker to open up coconuts with too if it was a tropical island <laughs> So now you know how to light your car when you're working on it. And since this is Mechanic Monday, I'm going to be giving away one of these Chinese LED rays and a little stand for filming or for fixing. If you have a chance to win, just place a clean, non-offensive comment on the YouTube comments below. And a winner will be chosen randomly by computer to get some serious lighting for car repair. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.